Have you ever wondered how to get the Holy Spirit to be in your studio and how to actually create with the Holy Spirit? What does that look like? How do you do it? Well, I'm going to hopefully pull back the curtain today and give you some really clear, simple information on how you can begin to create with the Holy Spirit here today on 5 Minute Mentor. Well, hey, my friend, I'm so glad that you are with me today here on 5-Minute Mentoring. You know, I'm privileged to be able to talk to artists all over the world and just about every creative medium there is and, and talk about this beautiful invitation that we all have to create with the Holy Spirit. Inevitably, though, it doesn't matter what denomination or stream of the body of Christ that people come from, doesn't matter what kind of you know medium that they're practicing, the one question that I get over and over and over and over is, man, how do I know that the Holy Spirit is with me? How do I know if it's him versus me? How do I know that it's not just me being in the zone and loving what I'm doing versus actually God, you know, creating through me and with me and and all this? What does that look like? Well, I want to kind of take a 30,000 foot view, if you will, of this question today, because the assumption, the underlying assumption of that question is one of disconnection as opposed to connection. What do I mean? Well, the question of, is it me or is it God? Is God with me or not with me? How do I get the Holy Spirit to to be with me? The question assumes a position of disconnection. You're assuming that God is outside of you and that you're over here by yourself and that you're trying to figure out, you know, how to do this thing. And that if you get it right, if you line up all the pieces right, if somehow you you get the magic combination, then all of a sudden, oh, the Holy Spirit's going to show up in your studio and got to create through you in, in some magical sort of way. And I want to dispel that myth. And rather, I want you to approach this question and your creative process from a place not of disconnection, that is, you're separate from the Lord, but of connection. I want to take you to John 14. I love this scripture and I'm going to, I'm going to read it real quick. This is actually John 14 talking about, you know, verses maybe 15 through, through 21 or so. And Jesus is comforting the disciples in this. And he says, Hey, if you love me, keep my commands uh, and I'll ask the father and he's going to give you another advocate. All right. To help you and be with you forever. The spirit of of truth. All right. And we're talking about the Holy Spirit. Jesus is saying, Hey, I'm going, but the father's going to give you the gift of the Holy Spirit. And what, when he gives it to you, he's going to be with you forever. So first of all, the Holy Spirit is not coming and going. All right. When you become a believer, the Holy Spirit is with you in you. All right. He's not fluttering off. He's not getting scared. He is active with you. All right. That's huge for you to understand. And it goes on. It says the world cannot accept him because he neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him for he lives what? He lives with you and will be in you. All right. Now he's talking about a future tense. We're living in the present tense of that as, as believers. And then Jesus says, I'm not going to leave you as orphans. I will come to you before long. The world will not see me anymore, but you'll see me because I live. Listen, you also will live. And on that day, you will realize that I am in my father and you are in me and I am in you. So see, part of the renewing of the mind that has to take place as a believer is coming out of this this misunderstanding of Scripture that that God is over here, I'm over here. If I do all the right things, and God God's gonna bless me, and God's gonna show up. But if I don't, He's gonna be away. No, listen. Holy Spirit is with you. Jesus promised the Holy Spirit would be living and active inside of us. And not only that, Jesus says, "I am in you." We're in union with Him, and He's seated at the right hand of the Father. So imagine this, when you go into the studio, you're not going in by yourself. You're going in packing, my friend. (laughs) You're going in with Jesus and the Holy Spirit active and on board inside your very being. And so as your imagination begins to engage, as you begin to create out of the desire of your heart, as you begin to delight in him, 
Holy Spirit is right there with you in the middle of it. And so it's about, again, raising your awareness of the fact that Jesus and the Holy Spirit, all right, empowered by the Father, are there with you to guide you and to lead you in that process. That is so important for you to understand. And for me, it gives me confidence. It gives me confidence to do the things that are on my heart. It gives me confidence to listen to that creative inspiration that God's put inside of me. It gives me confidence to be able to boldly come into the studio and create in a place of inspiration and power and excitement and beauty. Why? Because I know that I'm not doing this by myself. He is with me. Listen, my friend, I hope you will be able to assume connection today as you go into the studio and start creating whatever it is that God's called you to create. Because remember, I really believe God cares much more that you create than what you create. It's just about the showing up, receiving his life, and flowing with that naturally in everything that you do. Hey, if this subject is intriguing to you, you're wanting to find out more about creating with the Holy Spirit, I want to encourage you, grab my book. It's called Prophetic Art. It's a really, really simple read that's going to give you a lot of great practical information on how to begin to engage the Holy Spirit in your creative process. Listen, it's a little guy. You can read it in like less than two hours, and it's going to really, really give you the foundation that you need to start creating with God in everything that you do, regardless of your creative medium. Hey, thanks again for being with me today, my friend. I love you so much. And remember, till next time, you were created to thrive. All right, bye.